You may have heard of these uh, counterfeit detection pens that uh, are used to try and figure out whether a dollar bill is real or not. Uh, if you write on the dollar bill with these pens, it tends to make a very faint, almost invisible yellow mark. However, if you use these same pens to write on a piece of paper, it tends to appear sort of a blue-black, blue-brown-black color. And the reason this is the case is that when I write on paper, there's a, these triiodide ions that find their way into starch compounds in the paper. And the starch wraps around the triiodide ions and makes this sort of blue-black complex. Um, there are no none of these starch type compounds in dollar bills. Uh, and so that we don't have that sort of marking uh, taking place. You see a real faint yellowish color from the iodine, but that's about it. So we can take these ideas. Now, by the way, this doesn't always work 100% of the time. There are ways you can beat the system. But um, we can take these ideas and uh, use these to make a little uh, cute little demo that can be uh, done in the palm of your hand. Okay, and the idea here is you take some iodine, so I've got some an iodine swab here, iodine solution, and oh, there we go. I'm getting that iodine on my hand, and when iodine is in a polar medium like ethanol or water, it has this sort of yellowish color. When it's in a non-polar medium, and a hydrophobic medium, it has sort of that blue-black color, okay? And so the interior of a starch molecule is pretty nonpolar, which gives it that blue-black color. I'm going to take this iodine and I'm going to spray it with some spray starch you can sometimes find in the grocery section of a store. I'm going to spray that and that orangish color is now going to turn blue-black because of that starch. Okay, and I'm making that complex again, okay, in the palm of my hand. And this is a huge mess, and you can see, by the way, I've actually sprayed some of this spray starch off, uh, complex off my hand under the surrounding metal plate here. But I'm going to clean this up by doing a redox reaction in my hand. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to train these, this iodine and this triiodide to iodide ions which will effectively be colorless. And to do that, I need a reducing agent, which is going to be vitamin C, ascorbic acid. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to touch the vitamin C to my hand, rub it around a little bit, and I'm going to have a reaction, a redox reaction in the palm of my hand. Now some people say, well, you must be um, just rubbing the uh, the uh, iodine off. And if you look at this tablet, you can see there's hardly any blue color on that tablet. This is because it's actually reacting away. It's a chemical reaction. It's not just rubbing it off. It's a reaction. In fact, what I can do is I can put this tablet in my hand and use it to clean this up. Now, there's still starch in my hand. My hand will be all nice and sticky from the starch but all of the iodine and the triiodide ions will be converted to the colorless iodide ions because the, the, uh, they will have received electrons from the uh, vitamin C, the ascorbic acid. So the iodide or tri, or sorry, the iodine or triiodide ions get reduced and so the ascorbic acid gets oxidized.